Hey guys! So today I'm going to be showing you my travel period kit. And I am on vacation for two weeks, but of course you would only have your period for a week. And if you're watching a period channel, chances are you'll probably want to try foreign products, so I would keep it light, but enough to last you until you have the opportunity to go to a store or get foreign products. But of course, if you don't intend to use foreign products, you can pack more according to your needs. But this is what I personally bring. First off, it didn't fit here, so I brung this in my toiletry bag. I brung lots of Summer's Eve um, wipes. Just because if you're on vacation, you're probably always going to be on the go and you want to stay fresh. And this is the best way to do that while on the go. And you don't have to bring Summer's Eve. You can bring your favorite wipe. Um, I actually really like Summer's Eve, but I know people, like some people don't. So I have this small little bag that fits in my um, luggage and everything. So here's an overview. So first I have a U by Kotex Cleanwear Regular Pad. And that can also be used not only as a day pad, but as a night pad. Then I have two U by Kotex Tween Pads. And if you don't know, these are one of my favorite pads. They fit me great and they're a great day pad, especially if you don't bleed too much because mine is pretty average. Then I have these um, Always what are they called? <laughs> um, always Ultra Thin Slenders. There we go. It, I've traveled all day today and I'm a little tired, so excuse me. Ultra, two Ultra Thin Slenders, and I find these are really good day pads as well. Then I have a U by Kotex, I mean, Playtex Sport regular pad, and I can also use this as a night pad. I'm not quite sure if you can, but I can use any of these pads right here as a night pad and be completely fine but I would suggest bringing two of these instead of one just in case then over here I have a security regular with wings for the end of my period because it's super light and super thin and it doesn't really absorb that much in my opinion and this would be good as a starting pad if it's not too heavy at the start of your period then I brought a bunch of liners um, just because you know, if you have discharge or you're spotting or whatever it may be, or for tampon backup, I just have a whole bunch of U by Kotex um, liners, and then I have some U by Kotex nude liners from New Zealand that I got in a swap. Then I am on vacation in Mexico, which means lots of swimming, and you don't want to miss out on swimming on vacation just because of your period. So I would suggest you bring tampons, and my favorite tampons are the U by Kotex ones. So I just have a bunch of regular U by Kotex sleek and clicks, and you can bring as many as you want, and if you don't like this brand, you can always bring a different brand that's your favorite. But I just brought five, and that should last me like two days, and then of course at night you would wear a pad. So this is what I had in my period kit for traveling and of course this is assuming if I get my period that I will be buying products from the country I'm in um, but of course if you don't intend to do that or if you're in a resort and you don't have stores accessible to you then I would pack everything you need for your entire period. But if you're like me here's an idea of what you can bring. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.